Hello everybody and welcome back to Rib World. We left off last episode with uh, food problems, but we do have a strategic meat reserve. Uh, and we managed to find a mega sloth to eat. So that helped a little bit. I'm gonna tell him to haul this thing out of there just because it's bugging me. Also, if we warmed it up in here, we'd be able to uh, process a little quicker. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and start making some warm clothes for people because it is a freezing. So let's see. Um, I think socks would help. Like eight pairs of socks for everybody. Days. Low psychic drone. Yeah, I didn't need that right now, did I? KJ's down because of her go juice addiction. That was unfortunate. And honestly, I could use a bug attack right now. There's a grizzly bear here to eat. I hate the idea of letting the animals just into here to eat, uh, to, to, to munch. But it, mm, 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 what else are we gonna do with ourselves? We could always just wait for them to pass out, then feed them a meal. Alright, someone just shot something. It was a, it was a rat. It was a, it was just a rat. Alright, we got lots of cold chunks, but nobody's fueling these things, and I've got more, so many people set up to do things. Revenge of the Lynx. Nice shot, Jade. Just fucking fuel those things up, everybody. It's everybody's job to fuel them. Ah. Everybody should be working on it. All right, we got lots of sandstone, so we'll keep working with this. So what we need to do is expand this out. So we can get more of these up. Do we need to go... Actually, that's too much, because it needs to go... No, that's perfect. Start expanding the zone. We have plenty of coal, I just need to tell them to fucking feel the thing. I mean, that's, that's a basic task, right? Magnus, for the love of God. Fuel these things. I guess maybe it's not? Oh, and, oh, I thought we had a guy trapped in there for a hot second. Yeah. It's 14 in here, so it's pretty warm. We gotta, we gotta get some people some better clothes. Let's see, pair of socks. Is that it right there? An excellent, some yak wool socks. It's better than nothing. Everybody keep your toes... To your toes toasty. Let's see, deconstruct this. There we go. Did I do this wrong again? How do I always miss... How do I always end up m m messing this up? No, it's right. No, 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 it's right. We're good. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, the animals would... Part of me was like, should we just let them in for a hot second so they can eat? Mm. Just expand the keep, just keep this going. Make it simple. Let's say what'll happen? Will will they munch on food on the way down? <laughs> I have no idea. They're just they like to wander in here. How those how those yak wool socks coming? Oh, we're done. Uh, winter cloak. Eight of them. Harvest botched. <laughs> I can always just wait for the animals to pass out, then, you know, then, then, then feed them manually. Just put, put, yeah, put food in them. See? 
that'll keep them alive. They won't be able to have any babies because, you know, horrible malnutrition, but... Come on, food, 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 food. Steal. Not a priority. Well, at least we got stuff growing. And you know what I might do up here? How much wood do we have laying around? Not much. I need way more. If I'm going to do what I want to do, I need way more wood. Did I already, like... Oh, no. This map does not have very many trees. Chop them all down. We need all the wood we can get our hands on. I can... There's always stuff I can disassemble to get more wood. That's true. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, floors. Keep, keep, um... Keep doing the marble floors. We'll do another, we'll do another section in here. Maybe replace a lot of the walls and stuff with, uh, the wooden walls with st uh, stone now that we have it available. Because what I wanted to do was go to Medieval and go to Gardening Box. It's 25 a pop. And at least get this started. Kind of laying out a plan here. How wide is that? I mean, it might be too wide. Uh, sandstone. 14. It's not going to fly. This should work, though. 12. Might not have enough for it. And just for now, save ourselves a little resources, we'll do that. Oh, and we would need a door in there. There. It's not centered, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Something not being centered is not the end of the world. Part of me wants to just let them meander in there so they, every once in a while they can get a little snack. No, it's not efficient, but it might just be what I have to do for a little while. How's your tailoring skill? It's got to be decent by now. Yeah, 12. KJ's stuck in bed. And we're slowly trying to get everybody winter clothing. And there's just not as much wo uh, wood on this map as I would have liked. Winter cloak. Insulation from cold 66? So I'm gonna put that on. Yup, Dimitri. He's like Dish ditching this old one. And I bet someone else will probably come and pick this one up eventually. Upgrades. Jade or uh, Lady M got that. Yep, yep, yep. The, I, I don't need more animals right now, so I'm not going to get bent out of shape about that. A muffalo wool winter cloak. Those winter cloaks are amazing. Where'd you go with that? Did you put it down? These old pants? Yeah, those are old pants. Yeah, so someone just upgraded again. And these will be set up for uh, the... Oh, whatever they call... I don't even remember what they were called off the top of my head now. Some sort of mushroom. That's mushrooms. I don't think it was mushrooms. I thought it was baby, baby Agrilux. I should do the trick. These winter cloaks will keep everybody warm. Prevent that hypothermia. It's still freezing. It's still literally freezing in here. You know what we could build? Uh, we don't have a, we haven't built a hearth yet.
That produces heat. How much heat does it produce? No rain. Heat output 15. Oh, I, I don't know what the heat output of this was. I don't think it actually said. No, it doesn't actually say. And according to this, we're out of wood. Not ideal. I think there's probably a bunch laying around. We've definitely got it set up to, har to, to harvest. Maybe go inside if you're dying. Just a thought, Gaivin. Oh god, he's only he's only comfortable to negative four. Well, there's your problem. All right, maybe you should have the next winter cloak. Yeah, pour some milk down her gullet. That oh, you know what? Maybe that one winter cloak I thought that was it that was good to negative sixty six. I think that was made out of mega sloth. That's probably why it was so great. Yeah, cram food into him. Do what we gotta do. I don't know if we ever got that bear. Feel like it may have gotten away, or either either got away, or we managed to just murder it pro appropriately. Very impressive in here, making it look a little nicer. I hope we can put coal in the hearth. Yes, we put coal in the hearth. Can we do anything else here? We can just cook at it. Magnus, what are you good to? Negative 34. Gotta keep that going. Gotta keep all these running. This is still cold in here. It might need, to, and we may have just done it. it. Might need a little time to uh, adjust. It's going. It's definitely going up. As long as it gets above freezing. I mean, this one's had ages, and these do produce a little heat, so those help keep it warm. I'm pretty sure they produce a little heat. Uh, medieval. Uh, do do Coal consumption five, no rain damage, heat output five. Yeah. So they do output heat. They help keep it warm in there. So we're either gonna need insulation in here, the yaks down. There you go. Feeding the yaks, whatever we can to keep them going. All right, the hearth is the hearth is uh, keeping it about freezing in this room. Don't burn the yak. Oh. Oh, hopefully we can murder the, that that whole herd. Winter's begun. Yeah, you're telling me. Here they are. Why is my dog borking? I wonder if they can freeze to death. It is. It, I, uh, I mean, their hypothermia is progressing really fast. They might not make it through the. Uh, don't. No, oh, that one got up and left. Which one are you hunting? Oh, wow. Actually hit him. Nice. Are they leaving? It looks like they're making a beeline. We got one. I should have sent the whole crew out there in the middle of the night. I, I, I didn't anticipate them actually just bugging off of the map. I should have sent them out. Evan, you got a winter cloak? Good to negative 36. I think we're starting to make progress there. 
The two more. Yeah, it's just not quite. So what we could do is insulate this. Start with that and see what we can get the temperature to. There's too many animals, not enough food. And all these few. Uh, I'm wor I definitely worry about the fuel situation. I'm trying to get more grow zone up, but we gotta get it above freezing in here. The insulation might do the trick. And all we gotta do is get it above freezing, ideally with no extra effort. And then we can plant. Nope, no good. Can throw a stone hearth in there. Or we could finish off the, the insulation. See if that, because we're, we're just about where we need to be. Just need to get above that little level there. We'll, we got it. I just don't want to throw down a bonfire because there's so little. Oh no. Oh, why did it have to be you? Why did it have to be a rare thrombos? I gotta hunt everything on the map. Okay, let's hunt the easy things first. We gotta get everybody in on this. I was saying, please tell me that guy's not leaving. He's at the base. Oh, do I want to try to murder a thrombos though? That could he could he could really fuck us up. But he's got so much delicious meat on him. He's also walking away, making it more difficult for us to get him. Let's try it. Yep, knew that was coming. All right, everybody get in on it. You know what to do. All right, yeah, we got it in the eyeball. All right, Rose is hurt. Okay, it's down. Actually, we're okay. We're okay. Item stash quest. Infinite chem reactor and a joy wire. Ooh, I don't think I need those right now. All right, sorry about that little interruption there. My wife came home with lunch and now my mouth is on fire. She went to Chipotle, I had a burrito, and I had that like super hot spicy salsa in it. Oh, it's like the perfect, perfect melting your face level of heat. Live, being from New York and living in Florida now, it's 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 ironic that people from Florida don't know what hot food is. Gotta build more roof area. In New York, uh, you know, you know, you you order wings from a pizza place. There's eight different levels of hotness. And it's and if you, if you're like ordering for a group of people, it's a huge argument about what level of hotness you want to get because, you know, you, you order medium and a lot of in New York that was like, oh shit, I didn't need that. That's more than most people can handle. But here in Florida, you just order the hottest thing available and it's nothing. But for that was that that local Chipotle actually has really hot like salsa. It's nice, I like it. All right, we're not we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some heat in here. And if I put in a hearth... 
Uh, I don't have enough, but we probably will in not, not too long. If I put in a hearth, I could use coal, and I have unlimited access to coal. It's a poison ship, at least. That's the, that's the, and it's not exactly close, so we got some time to work. Alright, let's, um, zone, clear allowed area, area one. Let's clear them out of here, too, because they're, you don't want them in there. I could butcher the people. The thing is, I could butcher the people, but I don't have anything. I don't have a vegetable component to use to turn them into kibble. I think we'll just stick with. We'll just let the animals have. Oh! Everybody. Everybody. Up here right now. We gotta hunt the. We gotta hunt the whole herd all at once. So they don't leave. Get up. I'm sorry, buffaloes, but I need you. I need you. Alright, I think they're all injured. Well, there we go. Worried about that, Guyvin. Maybe you st step back a little. I think we might be okay, actually. Yeah. All right. There we go. Maybe everybody um, hauls. No, not consume. Haul. Haul. No, not rescue. Finish. Haul. Haul. I think that's. I think that's all of them. Haul. Don't don't waste time. <laughs> don't don't mind don't mind us, Buffalo Number Two. Don't mind us. All right, that'll keep the people going for a while. The vegetable component is is the is still the problem. Hey, it's actually warm in here. It's warmed up just a little bit. We'll still keep the hearth in there just to keep it, you know, try to keep it above freezing. Oh, that's gonna produce light though, isn't it? We need there to be no light in here. Damn it, it's cold. We're just watching the temperature zero, negative one. I think it I think it'll be good for the most part, because it Well, it's still not I uh, it's still not ideal temperature. It still needs to be warmer. The only way to do that at this point would be to shrink the area. is unfortunate. I need I need to put something there that produces the least amount of light. That's what we need, something that produces the absolute least amount of light. All right, what else can we make here? Tabards? We can make a, 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 a series of tabards. So if we go to medieval, see, I need something that produces heat, but not very much light. Glow radius three. Heat five. If I put these, what if I, 
Here, let's let's move these into the uh, like into the center here. Reinstall. Closer to the center. Maybe I can put some of those in the corners. Maybe I can. I might be able to because it said glow radius three. So if I put it there, it's. It might be okay. Let, let's let's test it out. Because I might be able to make this work. One, two, three. There. So let's pop some in the corners here. And see how much that's going to affect it. Then maybe I can work around him. We'll see. Well, what was, what was the UV radius on the... the hearth? No UV. Oh, glow radius 8. So it's got a much bigger glow radius than those. Well, is there anything else in here I could use? Glow radius 12. Or it is eight. I think that's that's the I think that's about all I could uh, that would be available. All right, so now this one's definitely dying to exposed light. So we'll reinstall this. So these ones say they're okay. This one's not. So. <laughs> um, I could try to pull them back a little bit further into these corners. Pull them back into the corners. What we got it. We got, yeah, we had it's way warmer in there. Caravan request, Plasteel, and they offer an architect alarm and a paint stopper. Uh, I would take that if I had any plasteel to, to give them. I would totally do that. All right, well, we got muffalo meat for ages now. That's good. And the, the hay grass is growing. So there's that. This one's definitely going to be dying. This one's going to be dying. And these ones will be okay, yeah. So if I pull them back a little bit, I'll get more more area to work with. Hopefully we'll do that tomorrow. We'll just keep force feeding them whatever we whatever they'll eat while they collapse. All right. So what we do is we we do that and then we reinstall these in these corners. That should help keep the temperature up. Oh no. Oh, it's one one animal. That's not too bad. Now, if this one's probably, let's see, not ideal temperature. It's still growing, though. We did take down a little bit of the insulation. That's a problem. But we could redo that. Look like a star fort. Redo the insulation on the other side. And that should help keep the temperature up. And we can we can put little grow zones in here to help. To at least take, utilize some of this space.
like what we can do is uh, go like this and tell him to put something in there. Uh, cocoa bush. Makes chocolate. Throw down a couple cocoa bushes. And if I want to make it more efficient, I could change it again. And now, uh, yeah, these are all good. So what I'm going to do is fill this square out like so. How much wood we got? Some. Food binge. Unslightly environment. Sorry. Sorry that you don't like it in here. I'm trying, I'm trying to make it better for you. A warg is hunting one of our our guys. There we go. Warg meat. All is well. Well, I'm happy that we didn't actually have to eat the humans. That helps out the, the health of the colony. You know, less long pig. It's good for everybody. You know, not no long pig. We have we have long pig available to us. It'll be there for a while. It'll be there for quite a while. Another mega sloth. So we can go hunt that guy if need be. Uh, we do have a lot of meat in there though. That's good. Might tell him to take down this adobe wall, see what's in there. Oh, that's fine. Uh, that's actually a little accident there. We can fix that shrink zone. There you go. No problem anymore. Oh, just an area revealed. Okay, I don't have no idea how long it takes to grow cacao, but we could definitely take all that adobe down. I think we could use that for things. Take all this down. Use it for building materials. It'll be useful. Oh, and this all needs to be baby agrolux. Well, that's more food. And then we could test to see if the light bends around the corners here and put him by put, uh, building more of these. But that's that's a nice uh, additional little area um, that requires, you know, much less input from me. All right, Magnus. Uh, well, here, why don't we go ahead and uh, tie you to this, to this mine again. Try to get those coal reserves back up. I liked it when we had a couple hundred coal, coal lying around. I don't remember what adobe bricks are used for. I think they're used for a lot of things. I think you can make storage pots out of them. Put a little lamp lamp post there. I just kind of want to see what it does. I'm, so, I'm I, I assume it's just a wide light area. Nothing special. No, oh, we could definitely use a research table down somewhere, too. Maybe some bedrooms. Yeah, it's just a it's just a rather wide light area. Ten archers and aspiring sellsword and four peasants. Uh, traits undergrounder, slothful, quick sleeper. Sorry. With, with, this, with things the way they are, I just don't need a bigger colony. Lean and mean. Oh, we got a thrombo horn, too. Forgot about that. Lean and mean. But I think we're just about out of time. I'm going to have to edit out my lunch in the middle there. So I'm a little, I'm, I'm kind of guessing on the length of this episode because I have no idea how long I was eating for. But anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. I will see you all next time.